working on making these gizmos for the chickens. So when we go to butcher them, we stick them in these little cones. So I've been working on them. Pick up some metal from a pool, the skirting in the pool, and brought it home. And we've been using it. We use part of it for our goat enclosure, for the walls and stuff, and the, and the roof. So I cut a lot of that up and used it for that. So now I'm going to cut some patterns out to make some cones for our chickens. So when we're butchering our chickens, we can slide the chickens in the cones and just do what we got to do so they're not flopping on a piece of rope or on the ground or anything like that. They're in the own little tube. So let's see how that works. And I got some of the patterns already cut out. Tools I use. got my 10 snips, 10 shears, whatever, whatever you want to call them. I got my rabbit gun. I had to go to the hardware store and buy these little rivets. I don't know if you can see them or not. They're a little heavier duty here. So I'll hold it together. So that's what I've been using. And a uh, handy dandy tape measure. You gotta have that. The only thing I don't have is my marker. I forgot that. Which I'm good at forgetting things. But those are the main tools I've been using. Cutting the metal and the shape and putting everything together so basically that's all all you really need time and patience and don't forget your gloves maybe some safety glasses if you want to wear them so you don't get a piece of metal in your eye but that's it and i'll show you guys later what the what they look like i got some of the patterns cut out see that or not. Use my 10 snips or 10 scissors. They look like scissors but they're made for cutting. So I got two different sizes here. This one right here I think it might be a little too small. But maybe doing the small chickens. And then I made a little bit bigger one. I think this one will probably work the best. So what I did, I bought some rivets and then ribbon it together. Really thick metal, so it's hard to work with to get bending it and all that. But I think it turned out pretty good. So I think this size right here will probably be good for the chickens, the ducks. And I'm probably have to make one a little bit bigger for the turkeys. So that that's what I've been working on. That's what this pool siding is for. Yeah, it's a little thicker, but it's galvanized and won't rust and so on. So it just takes a little time and patience and gotta wear gloves so you don't slice your fingers off. But other than that, that's what I've been messing with today. Doing a little, little bit before I gotta go to work, so. That's a start, I gotta make a few of them up. So when I get done with it, I'll show you what they look like and get them all hung up and see how well they work. I showed you guys the pattern, how I'm doing it, so I got bunch of different sizes for different sizes chickens and turkeys it's just a trial thing I'm trying it out by rivets I'm using rivets instead of sheet metal screws and it seems to be working and it's not the best but it's a start the more I do the better they're getting but I twisted them up rivet together so when we hang them up on whatever on a wall or a board the chicken 
actually slides in here so the head comes out here then you can do what you gotta do that way they're in there and they're not flopping around they just drain the blood out and so on so you see I use sheet metal screws and I'm not too fond about that so I'm gonna probably redo them Just different sizes, trying different patterns. Some are going to be bigger than the others because we got turkeys and ducks and, and so on to put in there. So when we go to butcher them, I got a few more to do. I got the other one here. I'm getting ready to twist and bend but this metal is really stiff because it's actually a pull siding so it's all galvanized and stuff so they won't they shouldn't rust they'll, they'll last a lot longer so now I just gotta twist that around and and they'll wind up looking like that and I'm using rivets to hold it together so like I said, it's just a trial and error. Got a pattern and something I gotta play with to get it just right, you know. Yeah, I might have to go through a lot of metal and figure out a good system and go from there. And the rivet seems to be doing pretty good, so I got some bigger rivets because all I had is just the little ones, and I got some bigger and heavier duty rivets, so because this is thicker metal drilling the holes and ribbing it together so that's the whole project the whole, the whole plan is just basically working on this for a couple hours before I have to go to work but that's all I can do just piddle around trying to get them done I got to the fall time to get them done so I might as well work on them now and get them done and over with so that's what I'll be working on and I'll see you guys later have a nice day Hello from Laura Cole Farms if you like our videos of all the animals and all that subscribe to our channel if you have any questions or any comments we'll do our best to answer them in a feasible time